Okay, we're back. Um, so as I explained last time, we've now figured out how to uh, what a flag is and how to activate it and what it can be used for. And now I'm going to show you how to put them onto your F10 menu in a game that if you're a mission maker, um, you can basically see how the missions flow in and then activate uh, something uh, from there. So let's do that. Um, I'm just going to do a mission start one here. Let's move it up. Um, okay, so let's... Well, as I explained um, in previous videos, it's best to let everything settle down in the mission first before you add anything. So a lot of missions uh, that people do, they would advise putting a flag on at the start, adding another trigger, let's call it mission settle, <laughs> and new flag time is more, let's say 15 seconds. Um, when you spawn in that will allow 15 seconds for the mission to uh, do what it needs to do and not break anything. And flag on let's say number 2. Move that up so the start trigger is going to turn flag 1 on, time sinks flag 15 seconds, flag on number 2. Um, let's change that to flag 4 say. Alright, so I've let the mission settle down, flag 2 is on and now I'm going to add um, what's called radio item for coalition we'll make it blue and we'll call this um, MIG-29 spawn actually let's make it SU-27 I'll bring in another plane uh, flag I'm going to want as flag 3 because we've already used flag 2 so when I activate flag 3 I'm going to use that to spawn in uh, SU. So let's put an SU. Actually, what I can do is just go to him, copy him, make it an SU27. Let's go there. Well, let's give him that. Let's put it to the airbase again. So he will patrol between those two points. And always remember to give planes weapons. All right, so we'll call him SU-27. So jump back to our trigger section. So I want to spawn those in, so I'm going to go to a new one. I'm going to move it up. I'm going to call it SU-27 spawn. New flag is true, three. New group activate SU. So I've let the mission settle down. I've added a radio item that's going to come up in the F10 menu. I've assigned that radio item to flag three. The value I'll, um, I'm not hugely up to speed on the value, but I have used it to do random um, spawns, but I'm going to go into that later and uh, once I learn more about it exactly <laughs> how that works but I, I do kind of get it but not enough to put in a, a video just yet. So flag um, 3 so basically and then when I go to SU the flag is true the flag 3 has been activated when I've pressed it and then it's going to activate the group. Um, I'll keep this flag 4 because it's further up I can also just add like flag 10 to here if I've already got other stuff that I've done I don't want to change it all 
So it doesn't matter what flag you got there. Well, let's do that. Let's do 12. Flag 12. Flag 12. So as long as you got the flag that you want matching the flag that you're spawning. All right, so let's try that. Um, I'm not going to kill this, and so nothing's going to spawn. We'll have that tank. Nothing will be on there. I'm going to show you the radio item. And let's go. Uh, actually, cancel that in the file. Save as three. Flight, flight mission. Go. Cool. All right. Jump in our A10. Still haven't put the speed up on it, which is annoying. Autopilot. Autopilot. Alright, so F10, nothing there. Um, that When I copied paste that MiG-29, I already had on late activation, which is why I copied it. I didn't have to mess with anything. So now, if I go into our menu, I've got a F10 menu. SU spawn. See that a bit better up in there in the behind the dark. Um, so when we press that, there's our SU-27 pop up. Now I can only use that once because I've only got it on a once trigger. I can assign that to a switch trigger then um, have like random spawns come in. But yeah, simple as that. Now I'm, I think there was seven of those you can probably pop up. There is a little option to go to the next page, but it's complicated. Um, reading up, you need to use uh, triggers and, uh, not triggers, uh, scripts and more things to have that working. But yeah, I can assign multiple radio items there. So let's just say I want to add another one. And let's just, there is another button here called clone. You can just clone it, which is kind of handy. Um, let's kind of say flag 13. We'll call this one. Um, we'll just put another one in, I guess. Um, okay, so let's call this Mirage Spawn. And let's add, clone that. Let's add a Mirage in there. Have it land in. All right, so. Flag is true, 13. Group activate, Mirage. So when I go into the mission now, I'll have two radio items and then I can spawn in both those groups. Now when I press straight away there's none because we had that after waiting 15 seconds if you remember. So the missions all got settled and then when I do it again still not 15 seconds. Still waiting and there it is there. Pops up after 15 seconds and I've got Mirage spawn and SU-27 spawn. So let's try the Mirage. And there he is M2. So very simple to set up. Um, and very handy to add if the mission is a bit stagnant and you want to get something in. Um, just make sure you don't <laughs> activate them when um, other things that you don't know are already there are already in. Or you get in the same trouble which I've done in the past. End up with a sky full of planes. But that is how you spawn other planes using that menu. Now there is another very useful tool for this. Um, basically, if I was to 
add another one. Let's just clone. And we'll change this top one. And I'm going to put here mission go. And I'm going to keep that as a spot three that we had it before. On flag three, sorry. So what this will do, mission go. So basically, if I wanted to, I can keep that, it won't matter. I'll have, they're spawning in via the menu. This one here, group dead tank. Um, if I didn't want any of this to happen until I give the mission go, I can add flag is true. Three flag is true. Three. So when the mission, where is it? Oh, look, I've added there. So when I press mission go in the menu, flag three will activate, and nothing will happen. I could even put it here. But I don't need to because that will only happen if this tank dies. And this tank, if this tank dies before flag three, then that um, will not spawn in because I need flag to be true. Oh, I'm basically overcomplicating it. But basically, if you put this um, mission go as your first flag and do that initially, then base everything around that this flag is true or, or the first event and all subsequent events that are linked to that um, first trigger will not happen until I press mission go. So if I was to go in now, fly mission, and take out this tank, nothing's going to happen. Let's do that again. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Until I press Mission Go. Now, this instance it's not really showing off too well, but mainly if you move in, into a trigger. So just say I had the first trigger zone set up. That I didn't want to activate until that mission goes been done. So if anyone's delayed at the start of the mission on the runway, or if someone has flown off while other people have been not ready and they've flown into the trigger zone, nothing will activate until I've pressed this mission go button. Because that's activated the flag that's based. So that's been done, nothing's going to spawn in, I get no messages because that flag has not been met. Now, if I press this, then it gets met because that's destroyed, and I've also got flag one now activated, or flag three now activated. So that is how it is very handy to set up a mission go, um, one that you can just activate in your cockpit when everyone's ready. So people can then go off, they can do their thing, they can fill up at tankers, and if you've got any triggers that are around there, you don't have any fear whatsoever if they fly into them, because these triggers will not be activated until that mission, that flag has been activated via that menu you've set up. So hopefully that was um, a good explanation of how to set them up as a radio item, and very handy. Um, all right, I'll leave it there. I'll keep that one short and well, short-ish. <laughs> and then next one, I will basically um, give the triggers and all that a bit of a rest, and I'll just show how to set up other elements like the tankers, the AWACS, and the uh, carrier. And I'll do that in another video. I will see you then.